Due to the hype surrounding the Football World Cup, discussions about progressive nationalism have perked up across the left. One side saw patriotism as a way to cut through the masses, creating a point of connection that can be expanded into a political project. The other side was appalled by this capitulation and has pushed for an ambitious approach, which would avoid using state borders as a method of building solidarity across different communities. The monetary success of events such as World Cup inevitably creates a push for electronic sports to adopt a similar model and form teams according to their nationality. This is not new. Starcraft Nation Wars has 16 countries from around the world battle for a prize pool of $50,000. Counter-Strike also has a world championships with a prize fund of $100,000. At this year's E3, Epic Games also announced plans for something called the Fortnite World Cup. What I find depressing in this situation is that the creation of nationalist sympathies is in fact purely artificial in online competitive activities. In analog sports, one could argue that teammates have grown up in close proximity to each other, they had cultural affiliations, and that's what brought them together. In esports, though, borders don't really exist. Palestinian and Israeli kids could be playing on the same League of Legends team, Russians and Ukrainians forming Quake Live channels, Mexicans and Americans making real life relationships on World of Warcraft. You get the gist. Physical proximity only matters as to how far the service can reach, not where one's passport gets checked. Governments are so busy in their divide and rule agenda that they are succeeding in strengthening the borders when the abolition of them would only enrich the world. How sad it is that we are now building fictitious competitions based on nationality in an online realm which is by definition international. And who will profit? People in charge of sponsorship deals, of course. As progressives, we must question what it means when our sense of identity is defined by the place we are born in, rather than oppression based on class and our relationship to structures of capital. I'm certainly not advocating that the end goal for esports is Premier League style format. It is not a zero-sum game. We could be forming anti-fascist esports teams and weaponize the medium for an abolitionist agenda. Instead, we're allowing for it to be co-opted for the reproduction of status quo. If now is not the time to be politically ambitious, then when is it? Olympics are looking at introducing esports as soon as 2024, so I'm probably fighting a losing battle here. And yet, I invite people that do love esports to think critically of manufactured nationalist agendas and who benefits from them.